Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of our um, Snapshot server. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of work for every spore right now. Um, he wanted automatic doors on the front of his shop, but his shop was super, super tiny. I mean, his shop was only this wide. And to do automatic doors, you got to have uh, room for the pistons. Uh, here, let me open this up a little bit and show you what I've done. Okay, so, and here too. And dig this. I got a silk touch pick or a shovel. Um, so, down there is redstone. Right here is a redstone torch that powers this block, which powers that redstone, which powers those pistons. The other side looks exactly the same. Is it getting dark? Yes. Let's go to sleep real quick. The mobs have been not relentless, but. Fish. So let's just leave it real quick. But um, the uh, both sides of that door look the same, and so what I need to do now is I need to do like buttons on the outside. I'm not real sure how I want to do that though, because see if I put a button here, then this powers this block, but this block is right next to the it's. It is not right next to the piston. Um, but the redstone is not right underneath this block, so that causes a problem. Um, so if I do this... Somehow I got to get a redstone signal to here. Um, I might see if I do if I do this. I put this here. Oh, I didn't bring any redstone with me. Crappy crap. Um, yeah. Okay. That might that might work. Let's try something. Let's go get some redstone. We'll uh, try this. I've never done it this way before, but this might work. It's going to have to be a little push button, so I'm going to need a piece of stone, which I have. Turn that into a button button. Um, and let's get a piece of oak wood. Just one piece will do. Okay, and some redstone. Let's grab, uh, we'll just grab. Sure, why not? Why not? Let's go see if this will work. Because what I think I can do... Yeah, it should, be, it should work, because it'll work the same as any other uh, redstone block. So if I put... Oh, I think I got just enough redstone. So if I put this here, like so, like so. Let's dig this up real quick. Because I want to be able to see what's going on underneath. This here, like that. Take the button and put the button like that. Aha! Okay, now how's the delay? I might might need to put a repeater down there. We'll see here in just a second. Cover that up. Oh, yep. yep. That's gonna hurt. Ouch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I come right here, I can get through pretty easy. And the pressure plate is no big thing, because the pressure plate's got a delay on it anyway. But I can't put a pressure plate outside because of mobs. Mobs can stand on the pressure plate and get in, and we don't want that. Uh, let's see, let's close this up over here real quick, like so, like so, like so, like so, and we'll put a torch in here, because you know, it's dark. Just, oh, there's one over there, so we'll just take that one. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, getting out's no problem. Getting in, well, <coughs> hmm. Getting in might be okay. I need another pressure plate. Do I have enough wood to make a pressure plate? Uh, yes. 
Yes, I do. So we'll put this pressure plate down on the inside. Glitchy glitch much? Okay. So there's that. Getting out's no issue. Getting out is pretty awesome. We can do that all day long. Getting in. That's not bad. That's probably okay. Yeah, that's probably okay. So now we'll just have to let him know that that little project is done. Uh, what else have I been working on? I've been working on some other things. Uh, just, you know, kind of off and on. Um, got cows. And it took me two hours to get one of these stinking cows. The cows are all the way over there, like 100 blocks, 150 blocks, 200 blocks. I don't know. It was a long way away. And it's across all this freaking water. Um, so I had to try and lead the cows back here. I broke both of my leads. And then I had to try and lead them back here with wheat. And, of course, they get distracted every 30 blocks. And so you got to go back and get them. Just... Anyway. Uh, but now we've got cow population building up. We've got sheep building up. Um, can... Hmm. I wonder... Maybe you guys can answer this question for me because I have not had an opportunity to look it up. I need another I need another white sheep. Um, I need another white sheep because you can't you can change the color of a sheep, but from what I've seen, I can't dye their wool after I shear it. Does that make if that makes any sense? Um, Oh, he needs a mailbox right there. Let's build him a mailbox real quick. Uh, I got one in here. I got a crafting bench right here. So let's build it. Oh, I got just enough wood planks. How about that? That's awesome. We'll put a mailbox out there for him. Um, I was able to get my wife, Flutterby08, on the, uh, on the server earlier today. Um, she hasn't had an opportunity to really check much things out, but she is on. Um, she's not on right now. She's actually out doing some stuff. She act she's trying to write, which I'm very proud of her for. Um, oh, also, big props to her for the name for Clucky's Chicken. Um, she came up with, I, I said, I need a quirky, funny kind of name for a chicken place. She said, well, what about Clucky's? I said, I'll think about it. And sure enough, that's what we went with, because that's a, that's a pretty fun name. I like Clucky's. Um, I know I said in the lap, last episode that we were going to do something uh, to decorate Clucky's. Uh, I don't have all the materials for it yet, so we're going to have to wait on that. Um, I did find a village way over that way. Uh, found a village. Um, they, they only trade for emeralds. But inside, they had tons of bookcases, so I got like 21 books, um, which was awesome. I also was able to trade. They had really good trades. They had coal and uh, zombie flesh and paper you could trade for emeralds. So I now have five emeralds. I need to find some more diamonds. I have been down there mining away. Wait, whoops. Oh, crap. Uh, um... Let's see, let's put this torch back, because I'm, you know, so angry and stuff. Um, but I've been digging away down there in the mine, and I have chests full of cobblestone, but I am not finding much of anything else. And I'm mining at level 12, which is, you know, which is supposed to be prime real estate for, uh, for diamonds. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm... I got some good and uh, decent enchantments. I got my shovel. My shovel's got unbreaking efficiency, to, unbreaking two, efficiency two, and silk touch one. So that's pretty good. Um, I've got an iron axe with fortune on it, but you know, having fortune on an axe is really not a big thing. And then uh, this pick is almost done. It's unbreaking two and efficiency two. I'm trying to get to level thirty. Uh, I also need to get some more books. How many, sh how many cows can I kill? I need to, if I kill cows, I need to leave at least two. Oops, hello. Close that door. Yeah. 
I also think I need to increase the size of this pen because it's getting kind of crowded in there. Um, let's uh, let's feed the animals so that we can make it more crowded. Whoops. Yep, that's good. in the water. Okay. We found potatoes. Found potatoes over in the village. And uh, got, we had carrots all, did we have carrots already? No. We found carrots in the village too. Um, so that's new. Oh, nose is bugging me today. I don't know why. Um, mm. Let's see, wheat, there's wheat. Let's go feed the critters. Come on. Feed of the critters, gotta feed of the critters. So that they can get even more overpopulated. <laughs> um, nighttime coming. We'll sleep some more. These days are super short. I mean, I know day and night are supposed to be about 10 minutes each, but that sure doesn't seem like 10 minutes. Holy crap. Um, doesn't seem like 10 minutes at all. Um, everybody on our server is opt. Um, just because... You know, it's a family server. It's not. It's not meant to be anything real super challenging. Uh, I did change a few things over here at Clucky's. Uh, put some windows in. Close this all in so that if I need to work on the redstone, I'm kind of. Oh, I need a block. Ooh, I don't have a block. I might have to get one. Um, got this all closed in so that if I need to work on the redstone or if I want to make the make the chicken area bigger so that we get more eggs. Then, uh, then I can do that. What good is it to have a redstone shop if you don't use redstone for your doors? I'm seriously. Uh, granite, granite, granite. Right there. I also need some... Let's see, I need one of those. And I also need some andesite. Not andesite. Uh, diorite. Um, probably... Let's do like 10. Yeah, you know, 14. That's a nice round number. Um, I want to dress up the dress up the outside of uh, oops, it. dress up the outside of Clucky's like right in here. I want to make this into diorite because I, I really do love this block. I'm not real fond of the andesite. Uh, but I love the, I love the diorite. I love the, yeah, that's good. That's nice there. Of course, I use the diorite on the C also, but that's gonna go away. I, I've got, I got, I got another plan for that. I got, you guys are gonna love it. Um, I need that one granite block to close this up over here. And I think I also have some. There we go. And I think I also have some more glass over this away. Yeah. Glass? Yes. Got two glass panes right there. And we'll put those oh, blocks are acting funny. One, two. Okay. Um, now on this side here, I can't do anything except for access the redstone. On the other side, uh oh. On the other side, I can actually actually get up to the roof to add more chicken eggs but we got lots of chickens in there um, now the plan is is that right here um, I could take this out right here yeah I could take these two blocks here and those two blocks on the other side out and add more hoppers and by doing that 
that will increase the area that I can have chickens. And the more chickens you have, of course, the more the more eggs that will get dropped. I think I told you guys about that before. The farm is doing great. Um, let's see. I got to. I need. I need to finish up over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cut here and find out what he wants me to do right here along this top row. I don't know what his plans are for this, but of course, you know, if you if you get up here, you can see all the inner workings of the doors, and you know, who wants to see all that? That needs to kind of get hidden a little bit. I don't need all these grass blocks. This, you know, I love my silk touch shovel, but, you know, yeah, anyway, uh, boom, yeah, that'll be, that'll be alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut here, and I'll be back in just a momo, alright, so there is one thing I want to build, I just got back from the, I just got back from the nether, and one of the things that I want to incorporate into my uh, redstone shop is a daylight sensor. So we need some, uh, we need some quartz, and we need some glass, and we need three wood planks. So I've got those good. So um, daylight sensor, just that, that, and that. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do wrong? Uh, Hmm, that's weird. Could have swore that was it. Nope. Hmm. What the heck? What the heck? Hmm. Okay. More research required, apparently. Hmm. Could have swore that was it. I'll be right back. Okay, I know what I did wrong. It's not it's not full wood planks, it's half slabs. So half slabs. We need that. And then this. And then this. Done. Daylight sensor. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna put the daylight sensor up on the roof. because um, it's gonna control it's actually gonna control the lights in here but I can't do anything with it until I get the glowstone. And there is, like, no glowstone real close by in the nether, which is odd. But, you know, hey, that's okay. But we're going to put this right up here. Um, and the way this thing works is when the, when the sun is out... Hang on. Let me grab a piece of redstone grab a piece of redstone and I'll show you what it do. Man, I gotta, I gotta make this a little bit, you know, I would love to have a mod here, but that's okay, we won't do that. Um, well, you know what? Let's take all of that because we're gonna go ahead and lay out how this is gonna work anyhow. Might need to build some repeaters. We shall see, we shall see. But you come up here on the roof. Up on the roof. And put some redstone down, like a so. See, right now it's energized. I'm going to need to build a knot gate. But it's energized right now because the sun is out. So what I can do is I can take, let's see, let's build a redstone torch. Like so. Um, do I have a... I don't have a block. I don't have a wood block. Darn it. That's alright. I go cut down a tree. I go cut tree down. This one will be fine. I'm trying to clear out some of these trees anyway. For future adva uh, future expansion of Spawn Town. And... Let's see. I guess I didn't have to use wood. I could have used, uh, I could have used pretty much anything. Oops. I don't want to, I don't want to craft anything with it. I want to put it, oh, for crying out loud, stupid inventory. Stupid inventory. Okay. 
Okay. And then, if we put the redstone torch oh, right there. Like, like, like a so. See how the redstone torch is off? Then I can do this. Well, hang on a minute. Uh, let's see. Where do I need... Let's see. That's stupid. Okay, so right here. So yeah, these blocks. No. Crap. Well, that's not going to work. Darn it. That's not going to work at all. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm. Um... See, I wanted to put the glowstone or the redstone lamps right here in the right here in the corner, right here in the void between the ceiling and the uh, top of the wall, and I wanted to do that at least at least two on each space, but that's not how I built the wall. I built the wall so that yeah, this is where it will end up being, and I don't think I can shoot. Well, shucky darn. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. How I'm going to make it at work. How I'm going to make it at work. But uh, the daylight sensor will make it so that my lights come on automatically. Which will be cool. Be cool. It'll be very cool. I could. I could. I don't know if I want to do that. I was going to say I could bring this out one more row, but man, I don't think so. I don't think that's what I want to do. Hmm. We'll think about that. Be back with you in a few. Alright, everybody. We're just about finished up here for this episode, uh, but there's one thing I want to show you or we call it quits. Right over here, down here at the bottom of this hill, there is a ravine. Ooh, and a spider. We need him. Oh, it's Ooh, and another spider. Okay, kill all them, can't back up the spider eye, but uh, over here there's a ravine, and this ravine is going to get turned into something, we're going to turn it into a mob spawner. Um, to get a mob spawner you essentially need enough space that you can have some flowing water and you also need a place where mobs can drop 21 blocks. That way when you go in there to get them, they're one hit. So in the next episode, that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a mob spawner in this ravine. Probably right here. That way I can jump down into that space right there. I need to find out how many blocks it is. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to do some work, get things set up for this, and uh, did that Enderman just kill himself? <laughs> um, I'm going to do some work, get some things set up for this, and uh, in the next episode we'll get started building it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little, uh, mostly tour that we did today. Um, a lot of big things happening around here. I was told by Beholden Spore today that he's going to get started on a nether hub, which would be awesome. I think he's going to do that tomorrow. Today is Saturday. I think he's going to work on that tomorrow. Um, now, my recording schedule is going to get kind of jacked up because I got some obligations for work that I have to take care of next week. I'll still be recording, but it'll be single player stuff. Um, it won't be here on the server, most likely. Um, 
just because of logistics. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> tell all your friends. Tell all your family. I love Redstone, by the way. It's awesome. Um, and until next time, we will see you all later. Bye-bye.